Marcia, did you go live? Yes. Mm -hmm. It says live. Do you see it? Oh, it's what? Good evening, class. My name is Marsha Lynn, and I will be your moderator for this evening's class. To all Zoom participants, please mute your mics and block your cameras. Thank you. Welcome to another lecture given by the Charlotte, North Carolina Zoom class. This is a school and not a church, and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a nonprofit, non-denominational, religious, and scientific research organization dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh, our Elohim, and the operation of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan, operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley, in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, and certain other foreign countries. The Charlotte, North Carolina Zoom class was established in August of 2020. In this school, we use the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted by Lord. The true title of the word or son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Lord and God are titles and not names. The apostle Paul filled with the Holy Spirit tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many, but we now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. This means that Elohim is the title that our creator chose for himself. Jesus is a name, but it is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part in any good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, nor the Latin language have any letters or characters in the alphabet bit that will produce the sound that is made by this letter J. Neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. Therefore, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true and original name of our Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state, He is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh in his pure spirit state, symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn this cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you that everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything, and the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Yahweh, knowing that man could not perceive of him in this pure spirit state, took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word or son, a super incorporeal being that is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. This form can only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical body and walked the earth plane as 
Yahshua, the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now there's only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question that we should ask ourselves is, what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title may be obtained by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him this tabernacle pattern in a vision. Yahweh instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of a most holy place, a holy place, and a court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we show proof that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and the function of this threefold tabernacle pattern and that absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. Our primary constitution objectives and aims of the Bible class are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without the distinction of race or nationality, creed, sex, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law or so-called law of nature and the powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, psychology, philosophy, and modern practical and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Sixth, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation and ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eight, to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith, which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh, from the beginning ordained, there is none other name given among men whereby man can be saved, saving the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And 10, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace. And our slogan is, speak the truth. We will begin class with the prayer given by Dr. Daryl Hughes, and we will have a song selection. Dr. Hughes? Let us all bow our hearts and minds. Almighty and most merciful Father, we're so thankful to have an opportunity to come down here once again, to be able to share and this great vision and revelation that you brought to us through Dr. Kenley. We're thankful that you've given us an opportunity to be a part of your body and that you've chosen us in spite of everything that we've done and who we are to help us to grow in your spirit and to be made perfect through you in us. We ask that you'll distract us from any physical things and help us to focus on the spirit as we continue to learn more about you and uh, just uh, all praises and glory go to you we pray in the name of your son yasha messiah thank you yahweh hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah
Thank you, Dr. Daryl Hughes, for the prayer and the beautiful song. And um, I would like to welcome everyone in the Bonds of Peace on Zoom and on YouTube. Tonight, we will be listening to our SoundCloud tape number nine. Now it is an honor and a pleasure to call on our Dean Emeritus, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley. Dr. Kinley. Reading from the 23rd chapter of Matthew. Your holy name. Now I would have attempted to have someone else of the ministry to speak to you tonight. But I deem it necessary, absolutely necessary, for me to uh, get up here and call your attention to some of the things uh, that you should know, that you should understand. I had uh, Dr. Train to read that 23rd chapter of Matthew on purpose. Uh, I didn't think to tell him to read it out of the King James Version before he got up here. Now, if you take your King James Version of the 23rd chapter of Matthew, you will find uh, those words are changed in condemnation, from behemoth, mm -hmm. and uh, so forth and so on. Now, if he had read it to you out of the King James Version, why then you'll find the words damn and nation and hell, you see, and so forth, repeated over and over in this book. Now, this is just before he goes to the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know, you see, in the beginning of his ministry, he said, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Now, again, uh, when he goes back up to this temple, now the Pharisees and the scribes, now they overlook you see, their prophecy, which said this. That, now, we could read it, but now I'm going to try to expedite time and I'm going to try to cover a whole lot of things. But he, but the prophet has said this, there is none right. No, not a one. Now the whole business was lost from the fall of Adam. Now, you can't talk about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, about them being any better than any of the rest of them, because he said that the sins and iniquities of the fathers, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to let you know that they were not sinned. <laughs> shall be uh, iniquity should be upon the children of the third and fourth generation <laughs> now what we have done in this school and we've labored with it for 38 years we've been in the colleges We've been in the universities, and we have been practically over this United States of America. 
And every time I get up to say anything to you, I call your attention to it. See? Just exactly what this group stands for. I have told you that our works have went all over the world. They have. We sent them to everybody. And the people that we send these uh, 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 writings to, I'm sorry, but they haven't even got sense enough. I don't care how you say it. They haven't even got sense enough to understand what, what you put in plain words on paper. <laughs> and yet they are the leaders of this people. Just like the Pharisees scribe that Dr. Trainum just read to you about in this book. Now we try our best to make you understand this one thing that we have come down to the close of this age. Right. And what he read to you out of the book was the close of the previous age. Right. Just before Yahshua the Messiah went to the cross. Right. Now we're not living in that age that day. We're living in a new dispensation. A new age. The dispensation of grace. Now, if you notice, Yahshua the Messiah never chose not a one of that Sanhedrin council, which means the 70 elders. <laughs> and everything he said and done, they challenged. They know they, they knew nothing whatsoever what he was talking about. And that was the reason for their challenge. He spoke to them in parables. The law and the prophecy said that he would. They didn't even know. the time for the Messiah to appear. Right. And if they had known that that was him, so say the apostles, they would not have crucified him. And if you notice, in that 23rd chapter, he was grieved about it. There's no rejoicing about it at all. Now they come this time when he had to tell them to their face and do what you would call in a slang way of speaking, cut them all out. And ask them, where are you scribes? Now those were the smart people of the Jews. See? Warn you Pharisees, you hypocrites. Look at it in the book. Take the King James Version of it and look at it. How shall you escape the damnation of hell? Now, if I get up here and say something about something like that, see, then somebody will think. See? Now, we can always use different words. Now, I don't profess to be a master of language. See? Or a lexicographer or an etymologist. Or a burst in rhetoric. 
see? And profound in every instance of expression, an extemporaneous oratory. But nobody is going to speak over my head. All right. <laughs> That's a truth. Nobody is going to do that. Now, I told you time and time again, for 38 years, that I was caught up into heaven itself. And Yahweh is going. Now listen to what I'm saying. Try again for a change. That Yahweh himself showed me the entire purpose. From start to finish. Even the structure. I'll say it so you know what I'm talking about. And the component parts of the God here. All right. Now I said that, and I said this too. Now look, see, everybody claims to know, just like them Pharisees and scribes did. Yeah. See? You understand? Yeah. I'm talking about all of the secular denominations, Roman Catholics and Protestants, and also the Jews. Now I've asked you to make me prove it. And I have went about our Father's business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proving it. Yes, sir. Every skeptic, atheist, agnostic, and infidel that I've been confronted with. Roman Catholics and Protestants. I shut the mouth of the lion. Right. Yes, Nobody's ever won no argument against me. Right. Right. So, now I expect people to disagree with me. That's expedient. Because they don't know. Right. And the reason why they don't know is because they have never been taught. But they think that they have, just like the Pharisees and the scribes did. And I want to tell you something else about that, too. Now, they thought that they knew the scriptures. Now, they, because they had the verses and all bound around their wrist and around their ankles, and around their necks and what not. Give them a side trouble. <laughs> when they challenge here, say, say, Master Moses, rule! There's seven brothers, and they all had the same life. I don't have time to go into all of them. I just want to point out a few things to you. See? See the point? Moses wrote that when the one brother died, the next one take his place, and so forth and so on on down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? Now here's a track question. Now in this kingdom, of Yahweh, our kingdom of God to you that don't understand. Now whose wife is she going to be? All of them had her. What the Sadducees had. You know what he said to him? He said, you do greatly err. What do you mean telling me I'm greatly err? And I'm quoting a book, right? <laughs> Mm 
said, you don't know the scriptures. That's right. They thought they did. <laughs> you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's not all. Now, you made an error. You understand? And you don't know the scriptures. Now, that's not all that you don't know. Neither do you know the power of Yahweh. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> but they thought they did. Right. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Now, I want to point out, I want to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. Now we got a pen and read some letters. We told you our works go all over the world. That this school is known. Now, this book, has anybody got our book? <coughs> Hand it to me, please. Now this book was written it was supposed to be done by July the 15th, 1969, in time for the convention that we held at Hilton Hotel. Now, here is the book. If anybody that knew anything at all about the Bible, as they should know, they ought to be able to understand something from the cover. That's right. That's right. Even before you get in. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> See? Now, would you mind, Dr. Dennis, would you mind standing up? Now, these two men have had to go over there to the Spaniards. This week, I think you told me you were going to finish them up over there today. Didn't you? I'm going to finish them tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, they need to finish them tomorrow. We haven't got them yet. Uh -huh. Finished up. You say, Listen, we paid for them. And all. Now, that man over there is a Spaniard and a Roman Catholic. Are you listen closely to what I'm saying? I'm particular about what I'm telling you tonight. And I'm up here on a special occasion. Thank you, gentlemen. I try my best to make it plain and clear. Now, I am not against Roman Catholic. I am not against no Protestants. I am not against heathen. Well, then what are you against? I'll tell you what I'm against. See? I am against the erroneous, satanic doctrines. That I talk about it. <laughs> All right. That's true. In this book, that's your turn. Uh, would you mind getting up here and reciting what the aims and objectives and intentions of this school is? Now, listen, folks, we invite everybody here. And there's not a governor in the United States of America that hadn't been invited to attend our uh, 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 convention at Hilton Hotel. There was a governor in the United States. Richard Nixon was invited to attend. In other words, we invite everybody to attend. We don't care who they are, what, where they come from. 
We tried to tell you that this is a school. Right. A school of learning. More, I'd like to make this player to you before he recites. <laughs> there isn't anybody in the world today that's been proven too. That Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, has performed any greater miracles through than he had that black man you stand you ten years later. That is right. All right. They have been resurrected from the dead yes, <laughs> by medical authority. Mm -hmm. See? I told you what was going on all over the world. Right. And I did it for 38 years. And to tell you over and over, I'm getting tired of singing that song. See? Now we wrote presidents, diplomats, folks in the back, the Hebrews, the Jews, everybody. And we've had Roman Catholics stand right in this pulpit. Those of you that have been around here any length of time, we don't have no hatred for no Roman Catholic. What we're trying to do is to get men to see and understand the truth. <laughs> now I'll make this clear too. As we come down to the end of each one of these ages, there is not going to be but a very few people saved. All right, Don. That's all. That's right. That's right. Now you're talking about Jesus jumping down through the sky, <laughs> and all of these folks that claim to be saved, it's going to be a different story. Yes, it's true. Do you understand? Yes. Now you're going to have to be responsible for your own self. That's right. That's right. You're going to have to quit depending on these hypocrites. Just like Dr. Tran read to you about that as Messiah was in his day. Do you, do you understand? Yeah. Now he got crucified. Of course that was prophetic. Yeah. For telling them the truth. Now they threatened my life. We have letters in our fire, but they threaten our life. And we brought along a little book tonight, and we're going to read out of it. See? And you don't need to think that just because somebody comes along and says the name Yahweh, Elohim and Yahshua is the true name. You don't need to think that they're with you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Say anything you want to say. Mm -hmm. And somebody's going to come to contest it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, since one of our aims <coughs> has been misinterpreted, I'm going to have the moderator say, and the superintendent of the state of California. Is that almost right? That's 
way it is. You see. <laughs> to recite. I am. All right. Now you see what you can get out of. Now we have been challenged on the second aim. We brought the letter down here and let you read it. Okay. Where the challenge was. Now you see if you can find anything wrong with this. Read. To form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah, without distinction of race, creed, sex, caste, or color. What are you, what, what's the matter with that? <laughs> Would you mind reading, uh, thank you, bud. Would you mind reading Matthew 28, 19? Go ye therefore. Go ye therefore. This is the great commission, so you say. And teach all nations. Uh, now wait a minute. Now you make provision to get that out of that book. Teach all nations. See? Not some nations. Right. All nations. Teach them what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Now wait a minute, get some water in. No. No. You see? Fundamentally, what I was trying to bring out there is that go and teach all nations. And he is talking to the Jews. That's right. To whom were the adoptions and the covenants right. in the first place. Right. He's telling them to go and teach all nations. And now I am with you always until the end of the age. Is that what it says? Yeah. <laughs> now what do you see wrong with that? As compared to our second aim, what do you see wrong with it? The form a universal, uh, to form a nuclear of universal brotherhood of humanity mm -hmm. without distinction of race, sex, caste, or color. Okay. You say? Now, does anybody in this place can find some fault with that? Get up and tell me about it. Come on up here where, where, where we can see you and tell us about it. Straighten us out. Don't be afraid. Ain't nobody around here going to hurt you. See? To give it to you straight. Now over there in the tenth chapter of Acts of Apostles, I believe it is, or the eleventh chapter, where Peter actually went down to the knees of house. Yeah. <coughs> Are you listening? Yeah. He said, I perceive yeah. the truth. See? Maybe you better read. Acts 1034. Mm -hmm. Then Peter opened his mouth mm -hmm. and said, And said, 
of a truth, I perceive that Elohim is no respecter of persons. No respecter of But in every nation. But, uh, but in every nation. He that feareth him. He that feareth him. And worketh righteousness. And worketh righteousness. Is accepted with him. Is accepted with him. With him. What's wrong, Rebecca? Get up and tell me about it. Compare that to your second name. Okay. Do you see what I'm talking about? Now, we spoke of the priest. They have a creature. Preach to God. Try Romans. One. Sixteen. Seventeen. For I am not ashamed. Paul said, he, Paul is an apostle of Joshua the Messiah. He's talking to the Romans. He said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Messiah. I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Messiah. For it is the power of Elohim. But now here's why I'm not ashamed. Paul said, because it is the power, you have it in your King James Version of the book, because it is the power of God, See? that's why I'm not ashamed, that's the very reason why when I get in this book, I don't have no fear of nobody. I'm not ashamed. All right. All right. You see what I mean? And I'm not afraid either. Mm -hmm. See? And I know I'm always confronted with opposers and objectives. Yeah. See? But I'm not ashamed. I feel just like the apostle did. I'm not ashamed. And I'm not up here trying to uh, talk down, you know, acting like I'm kind of afraid maybe I'm wrong or twisted up about something. Trembling and shaking around here, but you know what, I, what I'm right about it or not. I'm not ashamed. I have no fear of the devil because he trembles in his boots just like I do in mine. Yes, sir. See? Now, the reason why I'm not ashamed is because it's a power. That's it right there. Yahweh. Right. Read. Unto salvation. Unto salvation. To everyone. Listen, it don't make no difference. That's right. Whether you're Jew or Gentile. Yeah. Or who you are. Right. To everyone that believes. Read. To the Jew first. I told you that. Right. To the Jew first. Yes. Right. Now you can't escape that. Mm -hmm. Now that's one of the reasons why I tell you that man over there in the Vatican ain't got no business posting around. Mm -hmm. That's right. Boy. Because it went to the Jew first. Right. <laughs> See, these covenants. Mm -hmm. See, with me, with the Jew first. That's right. Both of That's right. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then to the also to the Greek. And also to the Greek. Mm -hmm. 
Read on. For therein is the righteousness of Elohim revealed from faith to faith. For therein is the righteousness of God or Elohim revealed. Listen now from faith to faith. That's right. Try the 10th chapter in the first verse there. Doc, try, try that one. See, brother, I know what's in this book. Amen. Brethren, Brethren, my heart's desire. Are you in Romans? Right. My heart's desire. And prayer to God. And Israel. prayer to God for Israel, the Jews. Yeah. Is. Is. is what? That they might be saved. That they might be saved. Yeah. <coughs> Read. For I bear them record. I'm a witness. And I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God. They have a zeal of God. But not according to knowledge. But it's not according to knowledge. <laughs> See what I mean? Right. Now everybody around with a zeal. But it isn't according to knowledge. See? Paul said, I bear them record that you have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. See? All right, read. For they being ignorant. Now listen, they being ignorant. <laughs> read. Of God's righteousness. Of Yahweh's righteousness. <laughs> Going about to establish their own and going about to establish their own righteousness. Mm -hmm. Read. Have not submitted. Have themselves not submitted themselves, themselves unto the righteousness of God. To the righteousness of God. Read. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Now you see that. For Christ is the end. Law. Of the law. Mm -hmm. The righteousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now watch my, watch my complaint. Mm -hmm. Now they're going around. Even now. And I bear them like it's that they have a zeal. Yeah. But it's not according to now. Right. They're going about establishing their own righteousness. Yeah. And they have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith. Right. Right. See? Now, 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 now you sure you're listening. Yeah. I believe Dr. Williams is listening at me too. <laughs> See, you're hearing this too, aren't you, Dr. Grove? Yes, I've got all of that. Let's say, witness. I bear the church of Christ, witness. I bear the Roman Catholic Church, witness. I bear the Jews, witness. They say you have a deal, but it is not according to knowledge. That's true. That's true. And they're going about, say, establishing their own righteousness, and they have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of Yahweh. Read Dr. Head. For the Messiah is the end of the law. For the Messiah is the end of the law. Watch it now. Watch it now. You Jehovah's Witnesses, you Roman Catholics, and you Baptists. Watch it now. 
see? He's the end of it all. You see? And what they're doing is going about preaching and teaching what about children? That's right. That's right. That's a fact. Teaching and preaching the feast and whatnot yeah. that was under the law. Going right. about preaching and teaching, what washing and, and communion and whatnot, which was under the law. I bear witness they're doing it. But he's the end of it. Yes, he is. Yes, sir. You say? And then got the nerve to blame it on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> say he said, go and do it. Just simply lied on him aside. See? Listen, folks, would you rather, see, would you rather have some idiot up here trying to tell you about, you understand, <coughs> eating bread, uh, crackers and grape juice and telling you the lie that it's changed by transubstantiation into the actual body and blood of Yahshua right the Messiah. You see? And saying he said, go and baptize somebody in the water. <clears throat> see? Or go and wash somebody's feet. Or in other words, do the things that were done under the dispensation of the law. Is that what you'd rather have? No, 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 Now you look over there in Timothy and see what he told Timothy. Mm -hmm. That he was a blasphemer mm -hmm. and an injurious person. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Because he made that same mistake. Mm -hmm. But he did it in ignorance. Yes. Yeah. Not realizing. Joshua's side was the end of the law. Now I'm telling you, you see, that Roman Catholics practice infant baptism or uh, water baptism. You understand? See, you can't argue with me, Wallace. They're doing it out there. The things that were done under the law. And your Protestants are. You see? They don't know the scriptures. They don't understand the scriptures any more so than the Pharisees and the scribes did. Right. And Messiah was uh, talking to them. Do you see what I'm talking about? And did you notice down in that uh, uh, chapter? He said, for a pretense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, they love to stand in the marketplace. Yeah. Right. 
with their phylacteries, that their garments, where they can be seen of men, and for them much speaking, <laughs> see, and for a pretense, make long prayers. See? Just like these hypocrites. Right. Are telling you they're playing somebody out of purgatory. Mm -hmm. See? And that he's a mediator or a go between you and uh, Yahweh. And even telling you to pray to Mary. Nothing like that. I showed you uh, Sunday night. Yeah. You see? That there's one mediator right. between mm -hmm. Yahweh and man. Mm -hmm. The man, Yahshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Not the apostle. Not Mary. Yahshua the Messiah. What's wrong with that, Wallace? He's raised the quickening spirit. He's in your heart. He's in mine. Listen, he makes in intercession or the prayer for us. You see? Not some priest come along right out and no, no long prayer. You see what I'm talking about? He makes the intercession for us. Did you find it out? Yes, sir. Read what uh, about, uh, Paul tells you about. You see, he done the same thing. <coughs> All right, read. And I think Joshua... Joshua Who is he talking to it about? Who is he talking to? Paul is talking to Timothy. Uh, yeah. Right. Who is Timothy? His son, his son of the faith. That's right. <laughs> you see? Now he's telling Timothy about it. Got the bad mistake he made. When he had the uh, letters of authority from the high priest going out there persecuting them, he had the Holy Spirit and drove them away from Jerusalem, put some of them in jail, and stood by and held raiment to Stephen when he was stoned to death. Right. See? And them same folks up there in the temple, they knew. They knew that Joshua the Messiah had resurrected from the dead. They knew it. Right. Same one that gave him the letter of a thought. How did they know? See, them soldiers were down in the tomb. They went back up there and told them. He resurrected from the dead. And then what they did was drive them paying off. Well, I can't lie to them. Oh, just like you paying off these hypocrite preachers. You understand what I'm talking about? That's a lie to them. And telling you that you must do the thing that's done under the law, which must die fulfilled, and move it on out of the way so you can walk in the Spirit. That's right. Live in the Spirit. Without discrimination. Be <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. everybody. <laughs> you see? Because I'm going to put it down like it is. Then they want to kill me for it. And I've already done been beat up. See? Read what the uh, retreat text about. And I think Yahshua the Messiah uh, had said. That's right. Who has enabled me. Who has enabled me. For that he counted me faithful. Because he counted me faithful. Putting me into the ministry. Now listen. He put me in the ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't put himself in there. Right. Right. <laughs> you see? You see? These folks is writing this thing here in discussion <laughs> that we read. You know what they said? They said that God's way of choosing somebody. 
you understand? And they're referred to uh, Paul. Uh, they're, they're referring to Matthias and Barnabas. You said they're God's way. It's by cast in lots and, and two. <laughs> you understand? Now I'm here telling you that the Apostle Paul, he could not come in until after Pentecost. That's right. You understand? And that Barnabas and Matthias, all you can hear about him was, you understand? But that's the end of it right there. <laughs> and that's not God's way of doing it. God's way of doing it. You see? When it comes time for him to be in the name, they separate him from his mother's womb. They put out his spirit on him. Couldn't go in there before because he was a youth. And he was made a minister of the Gentiles. That's right. To take Judas's place. Yes, and what they did by casting lots just made a mess out of it. Yeah, right. And these people here that write uh, this, this discussion, they say, they got all of us. See, I'm going to have Dr. Hess read something to you before you leave here. See, and I don't care how plain you try to make a thing. See, these people are blind. Yeah. What would I look like? Come along saying, Yahweh sent me. You understand? Just to take up for some Negro. That, that, that's one evidence that he didn't sing. <laughs> <laughs> you read while ago why he said go and preach unto all nations. You read what Peter said he found out that he was no respecter of persons. Is that right? Now they don't like this second name, the people down south that sent this book up here. And incidentally, they have my address. I don't like that too well. See? See? And that's why I have to be surrounded by guards all the time. See, and I told you I've already been beat up. Mm -hmm. See? Do you see what I mean? Yes, sir. Now, look, somebody said, well, look, you must be scared. Mm -mm. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I never <laughs> wrote a little call a letter and told him that I would be in the Vatican on the 10th of October, 1967. Mm -hmm. If I was a, if, if I was afraid as many millions of people that they have here, right. you know I wouldn't be afraid. You, you see, I, if I was afraid, I wouldn't never took no chance on nothing like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, you understand what I'm saying? Now you come right down to the end of this same question. I'm going to tell you the truth. That's right. Now look, if you don't like that, mm -hmm. you don't have to come down here. Mm -hmm. Now look, 
Folks, we have got people sitting in this audience that have been in the Roman Catholic Church. Some of you stand up. Been in the Roman Catholic Church. I'm already standing. <laughs> I took instruction in it myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you to begin with, I don't have no reason to go to the It's the doctor. Yeah, right. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the doctor. Mm -hmm. The doctor has to take this book. i finish reading what you was reading now who was before a blasphemer. Now, you see, he did not see. Then, I'm talking about the Saul or the Apostle Paul. He did not see, just like the Roman Catholics, right. and just like the Baptists mm -hmm. and the Protestants, that's practicing the thing that's done under the law. Right. He did right. not see. Right. The gospel of the Messiah was in the law. That's right. He did not see that. That's right. And therefore he went out right. and he persecuted those people. Mm -hmm. And in that he was blasphemed. Mm -hmm. And he is telling his son Timothy, yeah. who was before a blasphemer mm -hmm. and an injurious person. Is that my breed? A blasphemer and a persecutor. And a persecutor. And injurious. And injurious person. But I have but he said, I obtained mercy. Because I did it. He because I did it. Did. You understand? I realize that a lot of you people, you understand, that have been fallen. And me for one, you see, I got up and preached 15 long years in the church of God. Me, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about somebody else. I'm talking about me. Mm -hmm. I did that. See? And I didn't know no better. See? Mm -hmm. Yahweh caught me up <coughs> into heaven and showed me the purpose from start to finish. Amen. That's so. all I've been trying my best to tell you about. Mm -hmm. You see? And look. My work's following. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me of no hope or no cotton. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Yes. Yeah. Since the uh, no apostle, since the deceased of the apostle, you can't tell me of anybody that you know on the face of this earth that have told you anything more about the purpose of God, what's happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. I told you about <coughs> my time and all that. I watch on my life. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for 38 years. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, our Father, has heard my cry. Mm -hmm. yes. You say, put his spirit in me. Mm -hmm. And people have been raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. And people sitting right here looking at me in the face and all over this country. Mm -hmm. And it's the cancer. That's right. And all kinds of diseases. That's true. You don't know nobody on earth that has any better than that. You are not intelligent enough to ask me a question that I can't answer. That's true. That's right. See? I have proved my mission. Really? I have. Challenge the word. You've seen skeptics and atheists stand there. You've seen Roman Catholics stand in this pulpit mm -hmm. and shed tears. That's right. 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 You, 
You can't even talk to the people. They're even too stupid to listen. That's a fact. <laughs> and getting worse all the time. All the time. Yeah. Yes, they are. I remember, and I mm-hmm. talked with him way back down over 50 mm-hmm. years ago. I'm 74, going on 75. Mm-hmm. See, and I come right down the line with them. Mm-hmm. See, and many things that they talked back then, you see, they found out that they were wrong. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. And took them out of the book. Mm-hmm. You see? I'll tell you some of the things they talk. And I got the books at home. I can bring them down. You know, I don't never say to nobody I don't do. Right. Now, they said the Messiah began in 1914. Right. He never did show up. Right. <laughs> See? Now, anytime you fail like that, the best thing you do is go sit down and let somebody tell you something. Say, no. Do you see what I mean? <coughs> the Seventh-day Adventists done the same thing. They said he would be here in 1844. He never, he never showed up. And I sat down there and told them people that we had people in, in, the, in, in, this, in this school that was out of Jehovah's Witnesses. And you know what they told me? <laughs> They told me it's not so. <laughs> Don't nobody go out of Jehovah's Witnesses. You understand? Why? Because we got the truth. Get the point? It wasn't a true witness if he went out. <laughs> you see? <laughs> now, here they are. Uh, would you mind? Hey, those, those ministers in this, in this school that's out of Jehovah's Witnesses. Stand up, it's got ministers' license. Tell your own lie. <laughs> now, do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Thank you. Now, they have ministers' license. They have preaching. They give you a chance to say what they want to say. <laughs> See? Now, let me get a rattle to it. But I'd have to hurry now. Here's a book. I want to show you what book it is. Here's this book. That's what this is in this package. Mm-hmm. See? Dr. Gross, uh, Dr. Harris, would you mind standing up and tell the folks where, where this book was sent to <laughs> and what it's doing back here? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, sent to His Holiness, Pope Paul VI, in uh, Rome. And uh, the reason why it was returned is because it was uh, insured. We insure all of our books, be sure that they get it and we get a return receipt. It says no insured service. In other words, they will not accept insured service. They will not uh, give no uh, acknowledge receipt of uh, insured mail. Back. And they return to that Now look, we sent Pope John the Twenty Third a book. What the first did? Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. They haven't acknowledged receipt of it yet. And even down the day of his death is in the book. You couldn't hardly run the whole fault and not want me over. Listen, anytime you can go so far 
as to tell a whole audience of people like this mm -hmm. and more. What a man is going to say before he saves. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, it was in the page, you pay some attention to that. Mm -hmm. right. 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 Anytime you can sit down in 1961 and tell a, a pope mm -hmm. that he will die mm -hmm. before June the 6th, mm -hmm. 1963, and then got the nerve to send it to him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Right. Do you see? Right. People don't want to be fine with that kind of care, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, you see, folks, these are no lies. Right. And yet, yet, the most important thing about it, now this is the most important thing. Now, you can learn too. Yes, indeed. Right. You see? You can see how, yeah. how it happens. You see? If you just listen. See? You, but you, but what you have to do is carry that stuff to the government that you got in your head. Mm -hmm. You see? Now listen. Listen to what I'm going to say. Now, I have been classified a walking Bible. You just put it together, open it, close it, just open it in Take your chapters and verse where you just read it. And yeah, one day I was sitting there in my house. And I come to find out I didn't know you. Mm -hmm. I had to confess it. I had to tell the people. Mm -hmm. And we have had nobody to come in this school at no time that stayed around here. We haven't had nobody to come in. And we've got them all over the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what didn't say the same thing? Never heard of nothing like that before. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot go down here to the, the library in no state. <coughs> See? And find nobody that is explain this tree. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can't do it. Right. You can't find it. Is that right? Have you been hunting for a year? Now, listen, we've got some good theologians here. Men that are well trained in the Bible. You can't get up here and kid and fool with these folks. Mm -hmm. You see? Now, I mean to make a statement like that. See? Now, they have been. Now listen, now you were born and raised in the Roman Catholic Church. See, never no cardinal, no pope, no priest has ever told you, and I have told you about this creation and about this creation of the God and proved it to you. Right. They don't possess their credit, either, but that's right. Would you stand up, Dr. Hay? That man is a medical doctor, studied physiology, anatomy, and psychology. Many years. And this is not the only doctor we've got. Now, what I'm going to And what he knows about God and man. I'm trying to talk to you so you can understand. And this universe. He went to Mihai School, practiced uh, uh, an internship up there in New York. And didn't you learn what you done in school? Right, right here. And we've got doctors. And look, we've got university people. <coughs> See? We've got Catholics. We've got Jews, mm -hmm. we've got everything. That's All of them right. tell you the same thing. That's right. You see? Mm -hmm. 
You, you, on, am I, am I that on the telling it right? Yes, you are. I'm telling it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, anybody got any brains or any sense at all? You know I can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything done, as Joshua the Messiah said himself, I can't my own self do nothing. My Father in me, he doeth the work. If somebody is raised from the dead or some cancer is healed, yeah. you understand? And look, they have come to me for everything. Yes, indeed. I'm trying. Everything. Don't I? Yeah. I haven't told you about it. Not a bit. I have did what they asked. That's right. See? And it's just not way back down somewhere where you can't find out nothing about it. Right over here in your county hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. See? And I defy you to your very teeth to tell me that you can find somebody that's done any better than what I've done. That's right. Now, that right. don't support it. See? It's one thing you have to run your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's another thing to have a profound yes, knowledge. That's you know. right. That's right. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, here is this book. Dr. Hess, get out of here now. With what little time we have left. See? I want you... See, we sent this book down to some folks down here in uh, Dr. Rose did. <laughs> send this book down to some folks that is supposed to be using these holy names. <coughs> <laughs> See? And I want you to just <coughs> read around in it and whatever you think is important. And then you see why it is that I have to have somebody yeah. mm -hmm. around me. And I'd like to, I, while I'm on the score, I want you to know this. Yahshua is on the side. He didn't walk no more. That's right. That's right. That's right. Time comes for him to go to the cross. Time comes for him to go to the cross. Right on the cross. You hear about Prince? Yes, sir. That's right. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are you scribing, you Pharisee? <laughs> Just like I'm saying now. Yes. It's time. That's why I'm saying yes. these things to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? That's right. That's why I'm telling you about how the Roman Catholics yes. and how the Baptists and the Methodists and Protestants and all these hypocrites. These devils, it's deceiving you. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you. Yeah. Right. 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 Trying to help you save your soul. Mm -hmm. Just like Joshua the Messiah did. They hate me, boy. Yes, that's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I get out of the place, I'm telling you like I'm telling you now. Okay. You see these guards around me. Yes, sir. You got John Wayne, right. man. That's right. I'm not afraid of nobody. That's right. Amen. Yes, indeed. You see what I'm talking about? You don't know what's coming up. That's right. You don't know whether it's June or 6th. That's right, Doc. That's right. Mm -hmm. When the Holy Spirit would pour out. That's right. You see what I'm talking about? And Yahshua the Messiah got ready to go to the cross. He done just like I've been doing. Right. Cut out all the Roman Catholics no the cross. That's right. That's right. 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 Just like people with these little tin sword out there. <laughs> you, do you understand? Mm -hmm. I've had with knife right up to my yeah. throat. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cut your throat. Mm -hmm. If I don't do so. Yeah. Now, if you got some guns and you wanna do some shooting, cut out, just get you. Yeah. See? I'm gonna tell you anyhow. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You better watch how you fool around with that thing now. Because mm -hmm. see, you'd be revealed from heaven. Yes, sir. You find yourself yeah. in a jam. That's right. 
See? That's right. That's the reason why he came in the world. Right. That's right. This Paul came out in the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he come back this time. You see, you understand? You know what's about to happen to you see, turn out through this day. You don't get what I'm talking about. If you want to find out what it is, it's crazy day around. And here's the same. Let's get on back away from that. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. You've got good sense. You better take heed. That's right. Dr. Ed, I'm sorry. Read them. <laughs> now look at what they say. This caption is, watch out for this. When you read words like these, without distinction as to race, religion, nationality, or color, it means that the organization is either communist or has been duped by communism. These words indicate a desire for a one world government and a universal church, a church which will deny the teachings of scripture and exalt man in place of the creator. I don't know just what page it's on in this book. <laughs> Now, what he just said there about me, mm -hmm. I wrote in the first volume of the book, mm -hmm. and I said that's what he was going to say. Mm -hmm. Sure did. And that's I said right. that's what the folks were going to say sure. about me. Right. They were going to call me a father. I wrote it in the book. It's in the book. These are the words of the false brotherhood of man. Now you see. <laughs> see? You see? Yeah. Read on, Dr. And the social gospel which has tricked millions. Don't let them trick you. Don't let me trick you, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Now we had an article in the book too on pollution. Now this is a this is entitled "A Matter of Pollution." Pollution is a serious matter. It can contaminate the air we breathe, make unfit the water we drink, foul the food we eat, bring disease and death. Just as a leaking cesspool can corrupt a flowing stream with its noxious filth. So can pollution of the mind affect the moral and spiritual values of those with whom it comes in contact. Back in the sailing days of old, the crew brought with them for a tasty treat, a barrel of apples which they carefully picked over, removing those with bad spots lest one rotten apple eventually turn the entire barrel into a pulpy mess of garbage. We, as Yahwists, and readers of discussions have found ourselves in the last few months in much the same position as the sailors of old. We find we have an unhealthy, rotten apple in our otherwise healthy barrel of good apples. <laughs> What can we do to improve the situation? We must, of course, remove the source of corruption. Mm -hmm. We can write this bad apple, advising him that we are tired of his foulness. <laughs> that we will not idly stand by while he tries to undermine our whole effort. Who knows, with the help of Yahweh, <laughs> who knows, with the help of Yahweh, this bad apple can once again be returned to the barrel as a good apple. <laughs> Uh, try reading this. Try reading 
pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, just 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 driving y'all issue. The Nixon foreign policy help our enemies destroy our friends. <coughs> I am an American citizen. I am able to purchase meats and foodstuffs from communist Poland and other communist <coughs> countries, but I am forbidden under penalty of imprisonment to purchase any materials, including religious items, from anti-communist Rhodesia. I can travel freely to most uh, communist countries, but unless I travel by a devious route, I am unable to travel to anti-communist Rhodesia. <coughs> Heedless of public opinion, the United Nations is continuing with its plan to cripple anti-communist Rhodesia economically in an effort to drive Rhodesia behind the Iron Curtain. The voices of anti-communist people go unheard as blow after blow is struck against Rhodesia. And soon, to add insult to injury, a bill will be introduced in Washington via New York asking for a UN tax to help pay the expense of this communistic organization. Never in recent times has the world seen such an heroic country and people as tiny anti-communist Rhodesia. Let us keep in mind that Rhodesia is the first country in the past two decades to take a firm stand against <coughs> communism. Our controlled news media have blacked out all news pertaining to Rhodesia for the past couple of years in an effort to lull us to sleep and distract those who support Rhodesian independence. <laughs> we assure you that this, uh, in a way, in a way, changes the determination of the good people of Rhodesia. Now, now wait a minute, uh, there's, there's one right here, and I want to, I want to make sure you read this up here. Now, this is by the editor. Now, they got some pictures over here. Dr. Gary Massey, uh, do you still get this book? Yes, sir, I do. You see? Now, here at the discussion, they got the picture here. Now, this one down home. <laughs> That's just where they are, down home. Georgia. In Georgia? Right, in Georgia. Now, I want you to read it look right here what they just said. <coughs> yeah, just, just read this. That's what really what I was saying. Discussion. Discussion, a forum in which readers express their opinions. Published monthly at Box 925, Millen, Georgia. Robert C. Darnell, editor. Fundamental. Scriptural, religion, conservative, <coughs> constitutional government, high moral standards, <laughs> racial purity and integrity. Now listen, if that idiot knew anything at all about <laughs> anthropology, he yeah. would know that there's not a racial issue. That is mixed up. Okay. <laughs> my my grandmother mm -hmm. is just a smack out of Ireland as she can be. <laughs> and I wouldn't like to talk about grandma. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you see what I'm talking about? That's a tree my guy. dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. But now they're talking about racial, mm -hmm. pure. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And integrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see? That halo. <laughs> yes, in other words, it's just discrimination. That's right. That's right. Not discrimination. Now that's why they said what they did. Mm -hmm. You know, about this the second article we had here when we said to uh, form a nuclear union for the brotherhood of humanity without distinction of race. Right. See, yes. they, they, you see, they don't, they don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. And yet they're Yahweh's people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you see what I'm talking about? <coughs> uh, you, got the, you got something else? Yeah, I got one more thing. You yeah. got something else? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fairly long article from Babylon the Great, but they get right down to the point at yeah, the very last slide. Uh, Paragraph. It says, as a parting <clears throat> remark and observation, and even at the risk of uttering blasphemy, as it will no doubt be interpreted by certain zealots, 
How come, brethren, if the Roman Catholic Church be as utterly rotten or Babylonish as implied by many, why then was she among the first to come out with a Bible translation, the Jerusalem Bible, you get me, in which the great creator's name is restored in its Old Testament text? <laughs> now you see what they say? Uh, that, 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 that. See, now, now I'm just talking about nothing else but pure, plain, down, hard, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Get up, uh, Doc. Don't be sitting there. These folks down here don't see what you're talking about. Now, here's the book they're talking about. See when it was copyrighted. And see if they were the first to come out with it. See, you, you got a hold on in there. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Now find when it's copyrighted and get out down the aisle, man. Show them both. This is copyrighted in July the 4th, 1966. This was copyrighted in 1963 by Scripture Research Association. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. When was George copyrighted? 1966. 1966. <laughs> okay. yeah. And the Jerusalem Bible was copyrighted this year. Yeah. <laughs> now you see what he just said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our book that had the holy names in it, yeah. you see, was copyrighted in 1961 four years ago. In other words, we drove them into it. <laughs> Yes, sir. You see? You heard what the man said. Right. You see what I mean? All right. Go ahead on with your excuse, whatever you want to say. Okay, yeah, that's all. Now, do you see what I mean? See, the world does not want this book out. They don't want it out there, Doc. See? And they don't want me to live and breathe and tell you nothing. Mm -hmm. say, do you understand? Mm -hmm. <coughs> England refused to publish it. Send it back to the Dutch Bible. And they said that they shut the place down. Mm -hmm. Is that right? right. Mm -hmm. Now look, everything that we have put in this book, see, you have been through with it from one time to the other. You see, is that right? right. I have put it on that. That's what these blackboards and these charges yeah. for. Right? Mm -hmm. You see, there is nothing that we do not examine. Mm -hmm. See, and for 38 years, mm -hmm. I have been telling you, you see, what's going to happen all over the world mm -hmm. yes. with potent tables, chains, and everybody else, you see, we sent this book to Russia, now this was the first one, we sent it to Russia, and Khrushchev jumped down, mm -hmm. we sent it to uh, Israel. Ben Ruin jumped down. You see? You understand? See, you can't withstand Yahweh. Can't do it. You understand? You can't do that. And now, since you are so close to final conclusion, you take a fool's advice. You come on down here and try to save your soul. Right. See, I told you that I was not getting paid, but never have been. Been preaching for over 50 years. See, I've never known that. And listen, I'd like for you to know this too. I've been offered millions. Mm -hmm. <coughs> See, anybody can go around someplace 
that to me, heal somebody that's a dope addict. And people worth eighty million dollars. Mm -hmm. See? Talk to me and say, that man got the book and keep that money. Mm -hmm. And check right and see them offering me money. Mm -hmm. Never took one second in my life. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Right. Then, in this world, they can say that. That's right. That's right. See, what you do is insult me. Mm -hmm. When you offer to pay me for something, mm -hmm. you understand? That you ought to have sense enough to know I can't do it. Mm -hmm. You see? You see what I can't do it? Now, what do you want to pay me for it for? Mm -hmm. Ain't no sense in both of them being a fool. <laughs> and if I took your money for it, I couldn't do it. I'd lose my soul. You see? Plus you losing yours. Do you understand? Yeah. No. See, now all they do is just stand around and, and figure out and look up lies to tell. Like this, like this lie. That, Pope Pius the Twelfth told. Mm -hmm. must I, can I go ahead and say it? Yeah. 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 You want me to say it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pope Pius the Twelfth said that he took Mary, the mother of God, in May 1950 and put her in heaven. Oh, so body and spirit. Okay, then. Fifteen chapter first mention of the reading. That's what that's now that's one of the miracles you could have. See? Now the next level he provided, see? He put promoted the archangel David to supervise over all of the lines of communication. Now he put yeah. Now he put let me get this one straight. Now wouldn't it seem to you that anybody in the world had the power to put somebody in hell? You understand? And here he let Mary, the mother of God, lay out here in the cemetery until 1950. Before he put her in the hell. You see? Now, man, stand up and tell a lie like that, and you ain't got no way to consider that. Listen, you know, you may think it's this. Now, what did Paul say about that? Now, this I said, why are you reading? 15th chapter, 1st Corinthians, and 15th verse. Yes, read. Now, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot not inherit. Now, you need to tell us. <laughs> you, see? you see that now? <coughs> now he's promoting the Archangel David. Of all the lines of communication over the televisions and telephones and whatnot, he, he did that. <laughs> and Pope John, the 23rd day, he just find one more that has three to be beat by. He just find one more light over. He said he would be at blood. You see what I mean? And as you go on down the line, and if you know Roman Catholicism like I do, mm -hmm. see, and they want to kill me for what they said. They said it, I did it. You see what Paul said there? Wouldn't it be a disgrace to let marriage, the mother of God, lay out there in 1950? <laughs> I wouldn't even talk to nobody. I wouldn't even talk. I'd been changed. <laughs> if I had the power, all to, you know, all through down to me, uh, yeah, you know, I'd been changed. You have to tell somebody lie like that. 
Thank you, Dr. Kinley. Now at this time, the Charlotte, North Carolina Bible class would like to thank all of our visitors, brethren, and friends for taking the time out to come and study with us tonight and hope that you will come back and study with us again. Our class is held every Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and our SoundCloud tape is every third Monday of each month. Zoom participants, please remain muted until the host has ended our YouTube broadcast. We will now conclude tonight's class with the doxology coming from the last two verses of Jude. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Elohim, our savior, through Yahshua, the Messiah, our sovereign, Belong glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.